Hey everybody, BB75 here at Cave in Salerno, back with JJ Schindler again. It's been like what? A couple weeks. Five, six videos since you've been on Probably. one of these. How, yeah. how many do you do a lot? Well, he, yeah, I just posted Coffee Boys and then he was on the, you were on the trailer reaction for Silence, mm -hmm. which was freaking awesome. Which we're gonna see soon. Yeah, we're gonna see that a uh, 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 Wednesday. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. Yes. That's gonna be exciting. We didn't even know it was out. Just like looking up and hey, look, Silence is out. That was like we knew it was out, but then it was like, oh, I guess we could go see that. Yeah. Because where I'm from, you can't go see that back home. But like now yeah. that we're in Southern California, it's like, of course it's here. And we can go see it. Everything's here. We're not here to talk about Silence. Mm -mm. We're here to talk about Cars 3. Uh, the new trailer just dropped. Or as YouTube is calling it, Extended Sneak Peek in theaters in 3D June 16th video. That's a weird name. It's a really weird name. Why extended sneak peek? Why I don't, not just trailer? Why not just trailer? Yeah. Or is it not the trailer one? You know what? I don't know. I mean, it's a minute and 30, so... Can we go sneak peek, extended sneak peek, trailer one, then trailer it's two. It's like natural progression. Lightning McQueen crashes, and it's this is kind of going to kind of be like the Rocky Three of the Cars franchise. <laughs> like, he's kind of following the same suit as uh, the King from the first movie, and Doc Hudson from the first movie as well. See. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe he crashes again and maybe we get a different angle. Maybe we actually see his like freaking eyes. Or you're just completely wrong. Or just, he, or be, maybe he dies. We don't know. I want to turn the volume up before I do anything because I want to hear the hell out of this thing. First official trailer for Cars 3. Here we go. Okay, so that's the same footage from the first trailer. So that heartbeat. Then you go with cars. Yeah, they're cars. That's the bad guy, Jackson Storm. Okay, it's the exact same footage from the first trailer. Oh, and he crashes still, right? Yeah. St the exact same thing. It's, it's still horrific to see. Just someone you love from your childhood is just. He's literally falling apart! From Disney and Pixar, okay. Get they can leave. Oh, That's dope. Jackson Storm is part of the next generation of high tech racers. We're number three for the rookie sensation. Huh. You'll never be as fast, but you can be smarter. You need my help, Mr. McQueen. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Where the hell is Mater? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering! Where's Mater? Trailer one, bro. Trailer one. But, but seriously! Like, it's Mater! Extended sneak peek. I don't care! It's Mater! The it's like... Up, the last one was about It's Mater. like not having Toy Story with Buzz or Woody <laughs> or something. Hashtag bring Mater back. It extends on a lot of the things that we've already talked about. Just Lightning McQueen is a lot older. I think he, they've said he's actually like 40 years old in this movie. I definitely um, felt that. Yeah. With the, like, how they portrayed it, like the small amount that he had, his mm -hmm. voice. And, and just them saying, like, you'll, I don't know who that was that was saying it, but some person was like, you'll never be the racer you once were, you're done. And Lightning's like, no one says I'm done until I say I'm done, which is like, yeah, man, you do your thing. And then you got Cruz Ramirez, who's a young, uh, sporty car, the yellow one right there. Uh, she's going to be teaching him to uh, learn the new tricks of the trade, where he's like the young racers, he's coming after Jackson Storm, who they've established very well as the villain, sort of the, the new rookie who's gonna take Lightning's place, and Lightning's like, huh, no one takes Lightning McQueen's place except Lightning McQueen. So is it like more like he's been kind of out of the loop with the racing, and then now somebody's like, oh, I'm taking Lightning McQueen's spot, I think it's more. Comes back? I think it's more like he's in the race, and he's just now, real. like maybe it's like the beginning of a new season or something, and he's just now realizing at this point that, that his age is catching up to him, he's, he's trying not to, he doesn't want to accept it. Right. And then this crash happens, and he has to accept it. Um, and then he, you know, yeah, the questions are like, should he retire? And, uh, you know, this this thing that he obviously loves doing, it's like, you know, it's like, right. say, like, you know, we reach re re the age where we can't do films anymore or act. And it's just that trying to accept the fact that you're not as good at 
at something that you love doing uh, as you were uh, before. It just continues the trend of what Pixar does best. They, they tackle these uh, very mature themes. Um, that relate to a lot of people. That relate to a lot of people while still making kids. We were actually talking about that in a production meeting today. Explain what you think about the Cars franchise. Yes, 2 is not a good movie. Still a lot of fun, though. I love the first film. I think it's a great film, and despite what you think about it being slow or whatever, it's like, it's a character piece. Right. And and it's 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 kind of an interesting thing that Pixar wanted to use cars as a as a way to do a character piece on a character like this. And the question would be now, like, where is this crash taking place? Is this in the beginning of the film and he's working back to that? And like when he's gone, this car comes into the picture of like the new guy. Yeah. Or is this crash take place when he's facing this new guy I and trying to push himself to the limit? Yeah, I think this the the crash at the beginning is near the beginning of the movie because I feel like because this is the new season Jackson Storm is the new rookie they've established that he's he's in that race you right. see him in the beginning and he obviously he either causes McQueen to crash or McQueen causes himself to crash like pushing himself pushing and himself maybe too that hard. is why this new what is it Ramri Brett Mam Ramirez uh, Cru Cruz Ma Ramirez yeah she like has to come in and train him back to what yeah he, not only what he was but then also what he needs to be in order to compete any longer yeah exactly and, but then yeah like you said maybe it's like him realizing it like I can't keep doing this though. Even if he does win, like he still knows that like it's kind of my last. Yeah, my last, last hurrah. Yeah. Well, last they've hurrah. also said, and the, the, the creators, the director, he, they also said that this isn't necessarily the end of the Cars trilogy or whatever. This is, in a way, this is the beginning. Mm. So that hints at possibly a fourth film. They haven't confirmed anything, and obviously Pixar doesn't do sequels unless they have a really good idea. Which I totally respect. So, but this sets up a lot. But this sense. sets up a lot. This this is only like this is like so. This is the beginning from a queen meaning like okay, so maybe maybe this is yeah. This will be like him transitioning into being the mentor rather than um, rather than the uh, the mentee. Right. Right. Which would be really cool. Well, and it's kind of cool too because like you were just saying before, like Cars two, and then. It just kind of, you know, and the other sequels that they did, they just didn't add, they weren't as good as the first one. It kind of just mm -hmm. trailed off, which sometimes that happens. It seems like with Pixar, they try to do these things, but it's more so to gain, you know, to get more money or to, you know, to just entertain mm -hmm. versus really diving into the story like, I guess, the main creators of Pixar like to do. So it's cool that they're doing this with Cars 3. They're really diving into a really deep story, which opens up a whole other gate for other, other stories with, in the Cars, you know, and the car, the world of yeah. Cars. And I think this is just, in general, a course correction. Yeah. Pixar wants to prove that Cars can be a successful franchise outside of Cars 2. And, um, you know, I, I, I love this because, like I've been saying, th this is essentially Rocky 3 in Cars. It's literally almost beat for beat. Like, his mentor has already died, so we, you can't really do that in, in uh, Cars 3. But Rocky gets beaten, Lightning like, gets beaten... They have to take a break, they, and they both train by someone unexpected. For Lightning, it's this younger car who's kind of in the new generation of uh, racing. For Rocky, it's his enemy Carl Weathers' character. And then in doing so, they end up coming back on top. I noticed a couple of, uh, really quick, a couple of uh, different designs from McQueen. Like, one was his general look, which you saw at the very end of the trailer when he's looking at the giant 95 logo. Um, it's more traditional look. Yeah, and then you saw like kind of a new, kind of a newer look maybe than near the beginning of the movie or a, like it looks like he's got a black paint job with like a red '95 on his side or and then like in the trailer when he's watching the, the news clips he's got like this giant rusty thing on his uh, rear end in the spoiler. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I I collected all those cars when I was a kid. I, I grew up on those action figures. Like, obviously they're going to use this to sell toys still, but they're still telling a good story. Right. Um, well, and we should take a moment and, like, really think about, like, the significance going back to, like, how this applies a lot <laughs> to the society where we're at right now. Exactly. As far as, I mean, it's a, he's a 40-year-old guy, you know, um, Lightning McQueen, and then he's faced with kind of this new age of competitors and having to compete with that. I mean, like, look at, like, now, like, how that would apply to people, you know, our, our you know, our dads, you know, like, are yeah, in a, yeah. a stage in life right now where they're having to kind of, like, 
find new ways to succeed in life, you know, in, our, in the jobs that they have and kind of, um, they have to push themselves in other ways that they didn't have to before because that was their medium, like where they were at in life. Mm-hmm. Now they're faced with like, what our generation is bringing to the table is something so completely new as millennials that um, they have to kind of go through this process. And then um, not only for people that are in sports, but also in work and jobs, I mean, in the entertainment industry. I mean, like um, this just really applies to a lot of what people are dealing with on an everyday basis. And I think that will really help Pixar as far as like, uh, you know, bringing in the audiences that are, our, you know, adults and our parents, the older generation, and also the kids you know, just want to see cars, but also be really inspired by the story because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of characters that apply to the millennials and to the kids mm-hmm. as well as the parents. So again, what Pixar does best. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. There's times are a change in you know technology and stuff. My parents still have a hard time figuring out the phones, but uh. Yeah. It's all about just learning to survive um, when everything around you is changing. Another comment about my dad, he loves the Cars movies, and the one thing he loves the most is playing the be- the first like five minutes of the Cars, the first Cars movie, and we just got him a, a surround sound stereo for Christmas, and he loves just watching those first five minutes and just blaring it as loud as possible because you feel like you're there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this with my dad because... Um, it's kind of our thing. We, we both love doing that with the first film, and I'm looking forward to seeing this with him and seeing how he uh, reacts to it. I'm a little mad we didn't get Mater. <laughs> um, I'm a little concerned we haven't seen any of the older characters from yeah, the original Yeah, that was going to be my films. next comment was like, are we still going to get this like family aspect that Cars right, always yeah. has? You know, so like, maybe just because this one was more focused on like showing us what the peak was with Lightning McQueen and like right. kind of explaining that, and now maybe the next one will expand on like, here are the other people that are in the story and like telling, you know, from their from their side now. Yeah. I hope so, because I mean, who doesn't love Mater, who doesn't right, love yeah. all the other characters? But I, I do love Pixar's marketing is so great because sometimes they'll do like two or three teasers before they will actually show like a full trailer with the story. Kinda like what Star Wars was except they said they have more story with theirs, obviously, right. with Pixar, because they're not so antsy about having things uh, story development get out. Um, so, I mean, it, it, I guess you could say this is more of a second teaser than a, a full-on trailer, but that's, I mean, that's fine. I mean, just given everything that they've encompassed in such a brief, like, a minute and 30 seconds, uh, it's a it's a good trailer. Yeah, and, and they're going to have a lot more time to release Oh, exactly. One, so. Like, this is probably the start of the marketing campaign. It's probably going to see a lot more content. If you're not excited for Cars 3, get excited. It looks like a good movie. Or I, stop watching this. Go away. Yeah, or <laughs> go away. Get the hell out of you, freaking haters. Idiots. Jerks. Sorry, didn't mean to say that. <laughs> yeah, no, we like the trailer, so um, we're looking forward to Cars 3, and uh, yeah. even more looking forward to Incredibles 2, and then after that, Toy Story 4, and everything else. And Coco. Can't forget Coco. That's going to be a good one, too. All right, well, thank you all for watching this trailer reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where you can check out my short films, my trailer reactions, and the Vince Final Podcast, which will be resuming hopefully this Friday in 2017, and we're probably going to get JJ back on there at some point. Yes. JJ, when the, where can the kids find you? You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, of, uh, on Snapchat, on Twitter. Um, just search JJ Schindler. Pretty uncommon name, so you should find me pretty quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I post a lot of stuff about new short films that I've got coming up, uh, a lot of other things I'm involved with. So, yeah, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Some of the things he's involved with are illegal, and the cops are coming to arrest him right now. So probably the last video he does so, for a sketch long video. time. Yeah. Hear the surround sound. People just talk to him and like, hey, you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, is it legal? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Setting me up for Set- some things here. Yeah. <laughs> but out the secret. Networking. <laughs> Connections. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of trouble, kids. All right. Thanks for guys. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll get it right. I'll Start. get it right. Okay. okay. Play. All right. Go. Mm-hmm. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thank you all all for watching. God bless. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah, I'm going to just last the rest of the way to the end of this. Adios, amigos. Bye. We're going to cut this. Probably not. It's a good thing you can edit this. Yes, it's a good thing I can. Is there enough light? Do you want more light or something? I'll fix it in post. Can you, like, scooch over, man? This is the matter. No, I don't. No. (laughs) Okay.